All new tonight, an organization traveled more than 1,400 miles to North Carolina to honor a Nash County deputy who died in the line of duty. WRO's Aaron Thomas highlights the unique memorial for Jared Allison. And for the first time, we hear from his mother, who shares her thoughts on the tribute. It's been nearly three years since Nash County Deputy Jared Allison died from injuries after his patrol SUV flipped while trying to stop a speeding motorcyclist. While he's no longer with the sheriff's office, a new memorial saves a seat for him. Saving a hero's place. These symbolic words etched in a custom made chair in honor of a fallen deputy. With him not being here, it kind of helps me, you know, um, feel like there's still a piece of them. Angela McClellan was overcome with the range of emotions as organizers unveiled the honor chair for her son, 26 year old Jared Allison. Anxious, sad, um, proud, um, you know, again, it's just a little bit of everything. Hug after hug for every deputy in the room. It's her way of saying thank you for keeping her son's memory alive. It's an honor for us to be able to do this. Tommy Capel is the founder of Saving a Hero's Place. Started in 2013, the Texas-based organization builds custom-made chairs for the fallen. The honor chair is placed in the roll call room as a reminder that even though they're not there physically, the officer will always be with you. A meaningful memorial, both inspiring and bittersweet. Very much appreciated. Very much appreciated. I just hate that it's so many chairs, but certainly it's a, a wonderful uh, way to honor Jared. The honor chair for fallen deputy Allison is the 265th chair organizers have made for departments of fallen officers across the country. Erin Thomas, WREL News, Nash County. And she makes a great point. Just too many chairs. Mm -hmm.